we need to address the elephant in the room, my man. For those who are just listening, we are signaling, not the peace sign, but the eye gouge sign right there. Priscilla Cachoeira, the zombie girl, versus Jillian Robertson at UFC 269, um, blatantly eye poked, eye gouged, whatever you want to call it. I want to say no harm, no foul, because she's here on a main card slot um, and at UFC Vegas 49. But at the end of the day, you had fans clamoring for her to get cut from the promotion. Not just like, hey, suspend her. No, they said cut her from the promotion. We don't want to see her fight anymore. Even though, I mean, dude, she's a knockout artist, right? She has six knockouts over 10 victories. Um, you know, she's she's a she brings it when she fights. But that was incredibly dirty, and there's really no way around it. Now, can we call her a dirty fighter overall, given that I haven't seen any of this dirty stuff in any other fight? It's just been this one. I don't know. Very bad judgment call on her end. But I want to know, what do you think are the repercussions of her being rewarded with a main card slot after doing this? Um, what are the What's going to be the ripple effect in the UFC? Because you know, then it's like, okay, so I can get away with nut shots then. I can get away with these blatant flinches. It's not as bad as, as I poke, right? So you should have no problem putting me on the main card if I do it. What do you think? It definitely sets a bad precedent. And, and Cachoeira may not be a dirty fighter, but she has dirty tendencies, yeah. which doesn't bode well. I mean, she gets that going from a prelim spot gouging out jillian robertson's eyes are getting close anyway even even robertson said she's like oh it was deep i felt knuckle like it was very deep in her eyes and then gets third card the third fight from the main you know from the from the top of the list man it's uh it's interesting because it's a dangerous thing you know sure you, you get a little fence grab you get a little short grab okay no harm no foul you fuck with somebody's eyesight man that is uh that's that's reason to go fight you in the parking lot like yeah, that sure. is that is dangerous it's fucked up. It's it's you don't want to mess with somebody's eyes. Even a nut shot, like okay, you know, you'll, you'll you'll recover. You might hurt for a little bit, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. Obviously, there's a lot of bad that could come from that. But the eye gouge, man, it's just uh, it's insane and doesn't set a good precedent for the rest of the fighters out there that say like, oh, you know, I can maybe Uncle Dana likes a little bit of uh, a little bit of heat over there. He likes a little bit of controversy. Okay, cool, whatever. Let's see how this gets done. Uh, very very testy waters right there man i i don't like it personally i think she should have been on at least on the prelims you know yeah. like i think yeah i don't think you reward bad behavior you feed what you want to grow just like a plant or a child and you don't want eye gouges to be the next big thing yeah so you not only get a main card slot but you also get it fighting forward right you're fighting opponent with a higher number than you all i mean these are topology rankings but still the point remains listen ji young kim the fire fist ji young kim is going to be a tough matchup for priscilla cachoeira but i think this is a very winnable fight for priscilla cachoeira aside from the eye pokes aside from all of this stuff Listen, there's nothing we can do about it at this point. Now, she's fighting. It is what it is, man. And in this matchup, we see Fire Fist, Ji Young Kim likes to fight behind her jab. But she hasn't been able to utilize her length, man, as of late. I don't know what it is, but she got the 72-inch reach. She fought Molly McCann in her last fight, and Molly McCann brought it. She brought the fight to her, right? She says, listen, I got the short reach. That's not a problem. I'm going to stay in your face. I'm not going to allow you to just jab me up. I'm going to keep you on your back foot, all that. Um, and it was successful, man. We saw that Ji Young Kim has a very solid chin, but you don't want to be showing off your toughness in your chin. You want to be giving strikes back. You don't, you know, you don't want to be eating a bunch of shots. So if Priscilla Cachoeira, whose entire style is predicated on walking forward, getting those flurries off, and once she starts going, she's just as much of a downhill fighter as a Joel Alvarez is. Because once she starts putting the combos on you, it can get stopped real quick. Like I could see this going a three round war back and forth technical. And I can also see this being finished in the first round. Catch where it just kind of smashes, you know, it depends on the energy. Both of these fighters come out the gate with, but given that Gian Kim hasn't had the best track record for fighting well off of her back foot, what is her method for victory in this matchup, man? I'm not going to say that it's a shoe in that Priscilla Cachoeira wins. I mean, look, she's a plus 145 underdog here. But this is one of those matchups where you look, you don't look at the odds. You don't look at the names. You don't look at the faces. You look at stylistically. How does Ji Young Kim win this fight? Man, footwork all day long. Stay on the outside. Stay on the circle and just keep working, man. I think, I think that's one of Kim's most underrated aspects. Sure, very snappy jab, very fast hands. Very nice boxing and strong, man. She can get the finish. A little bit more of a point fighter, but beautiful footwork, dude. This girl has very impressive okay. footwork. Always stays on her toes, bouncy, in and out. It's She's going to need to stay on the front foot for sure. And if she can stop that downhill pressure that Cachoeira likes to have, it'll be a, it'll be the best way for her to go. Kim is very dangerous, but so is Cachoeira, man. Very winnable fight for Cachoeira. And she's awkward and jittery, so it's gonna. This is the Styles fight, man. I like the way you're phrasing that, Derek. This is a Styles fight. You can't go one way or the other, but it's gonna be a fun one either way. 
I, I agree with you. Um, but I will say that footwork that I've noticed watching these last fights back, watching the Alexa Grasso fight, the McCann fight, even the Kassem fight, um, um, where she ultimately won, you know, she kind of kind of put it on her opponent. The problem it lies in once she starts getting pressured and once you got someone in her face, that footwork goes away. Then it becomes stationary target. So I say the moment Ji Young Kim stops moving, that's when you have real problems here. Now, she has a good training camp, man. She fights out of syndicate MMA, all that good stuff, man. Like, she has good coaching. She has good training partners, all that. Uh, Cachoeira is fighting out of Figueredo team. So, I mean, she got some good coaches and all that good stuff, too. But I just think that... Like I said, if Jion Kim can't mix it up a little bit and maybe try to get a takedown, maybe try to work a little something, something, which is not really her game, this is just going to be, it's going to be favoring Cachoeira on the feet if she can get in and close that distance and not get ate up by the jab. So either that jab needs to stay popping and you stay on your bike or you fall victim to the flurries of Cachoeira. That's basically as simple as I can make it here because if we're looking... It's been a rough go for Cachoeira. Let's not forget, you remember she fought Valentina Shevchenko and she got outstruck by like 150 strikes. <laughs> like it was something, it was like literally like two to like 150, like crazy. She's bounced back pretty good. She lost against McCann. She lost against Luana Catalina, um, but she got a uh, win against Shannon Dobson, knocked her out, devastating. Uh, finished Gina Mazzani, that was devastating. And then, you know, when basically, when she, the fight goes to the ground, it's it's not good for, for Cachoeira. So if this fight stays on the feet, we'll see what happens. I'll just go straight off the bat, AJ. I don't really have much more to say on this, but I like Cachoeira at live dog odds on here. Unless you got anything else to say to comment on this one, man, give me the over and under, which is two and a half rounds and all that. Ooh, I'm going with the over, Derek. I actually like Kim in this fight, man. It's a very closely matched fight. I think if Kim, like you said, can maintain that jam, maintain that footwork, it's going to be really well for her. Kind of frustrate Cachoeira because once she does, then it's a whole different fight. Like I said, I'm going Kim by decision. I'm taking the over, man. It's going to either way, close fight. I'm a huge Fire Fist fan, AJ. If you remember in her fight against Molly McCann, I picked Ji Young Kim. I was hyping her up. And when I saw the performance, I was like, ah, damn, man. Comes to bite me. It's okay. It is what it is. It's the fight game. We all have off days, right? Off nights. But back to back against uh, Grasso and McCann. And then we saw the loss against Antonina Shevchenko. This is kind of becoming a pattern here. If you look at, she's two and three in her last five. She is three and four in the UFC. And I think Priscilla Cachoeira, who is two and four in the UFC, is going to be motivated as ever, especially coming off the, oh, she's a dirty fighter. She's this. She's probably going to be like, well, none of this dirty stuff is going to happen if I just knock you out. So I'm going Priscilla Cachoeira in this one, brother, and I'm going first round to TKO. I think she gets straight to it. I'm taking the under on this one, man. So um, am I a fan of the dirty practices? Absolutely not. But do I think she's a talented fighter? Yes, there's no doubting that. We can't even sit there and just kid ourselves here. Cachoeira is dangerous as they come. And she is in the, the cloth of the Josiane Nunez's where it's like you don't want to stand and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. So should be a fun one, folks.